Here we're going to be looking at an intangible asset as a franchise or licensing agreement. Now these are contract related. Again, they include franchise or licensing agreements, construction permits, broadcast rights, and service or supply contracts. Now uh, we have to account for these intangible assets here and we'd amortize the cost of the franchise or the license with the with a limited life as an operating expense over the life of the franchise or two here do not amortize if it has an indefinite life nor a perpetual franchise here. Instead you'd carry the, the franchise at its cost on your balance sheet here. So let's look at our franchise example here. On 1120X1 Corporation A entered into a agreement to operate a franchise here of ABC services for an initial franchise fee of $150,000. Of this amount here, $30,000 was to be paid when the agreement was signed here on 1120X1 and the balance is payable in four annual payments here of $30,000 each here at the end of the year, each of those next four years here. Uh, discounted at that 14% interest rate and we're going to determine that the present value here is $87,411. Now, the agreement also provides here for a 5% revenue on the franchise to the franchisor annually here uh, for, uh, for the revenues collected here. So the re revenue from the franchise during 20X1 here was $1,800,000. And the useful life of the franchise is estimated at 10 years here. Now, uh, a typical accounting treatment here for intangible assets. Um, we're going to be looking at a, a limited life intangible here for this fa franchise uh, agreement here and it's going to be purchased here so we'd be capitalizing it here but if it was internally created uh, you typically would expenses here and also you we're going to be amortizing it here over its useful life here because it has a limited life had it and an indefinite life here uh, we would not be amortizing it and there isn't any impairment testing here on this intangible. So let's go back and, and let's look at how we uh, calculate this. First we have to determine the franchise cost and then we can determine the amortization expense here. So our franchise cost here includes the present value of those four annual payments here of $30,000 each. So we'd be discounting those four payments back here at 14% interest rate, $30,000 payment, and at a period it's going to, their present value is $87,000 thousand four hundred and eleven dollars. Then we had this initial payment here of thirty thousand dollars to uh, purchase this franchise here. So our total costs here, for our total franchise costs would just be the sum total here. Eighty seven thousand four hundred eleven dollars plus the thirty thousand gives us a franchise cost here of one hundred and seventeen thousand four hundred and eleven dollars. Okay, knowing our cost here, now we can determine our amortization amortization expense per year here. So our cost, 117411 divided by a useful life of 10 years here is going to give us an amortization expense here per year of $11,741. All right, so now let's go and look at how we'd record this franchise here. So uh, first we have to deal with the software costs that were incurred here during the year here. And that would be, um, we have the at interest expense here and remember the present value of those payments was $87,411 times 14% interest rate is going to give us an interest expense here on this franchise of $12,237 and then we also have this franchise fee that we have to deal with here. Our revenues for the year here were $1,800,000 and we have a 5% fee on the total revenues here for the year so that's going to give us a franchise fee that we have to pay the franchisor here here of $90,000 here for the year. So what we do is we go down and just look in our cash account here and this is at the end of 20x1. We have our interest expense here of $12,237. Uh, so let's just say we've credited our cash here for that amount and then we'd recognize it here on our income statement here as a debit amount here for uh, $12,237. So reduce their cash on our balance sheet, recognize the interest expense here in income statement. And then we also have this uh, franchise fee here of $90,000 here for the year. So we'd credit that here on our cash account for $90,000 and then we 
we'd recognize it here in the income statement as a franchise fee here for this percent of the revenues collected here. Debit that here for $90,000. Then the only other thing we have to deal with, deal with is the capitalization here of this franchise and an amortization here over its useful life. So what we would do is we'd be capitalizing it here on our balance sheet here at the uh, capitalized cost here and remember that was the franchise cost that we calculated of $117,411 and we would have done that here in, when we purchased this franchise here in 20X1 and then uh, for a we're only looking at 20X1 here we and since we purchased it at the beginning of the year here we have uh, one year's amortization here and we'd set up this accumulated amortization here for this ABC franchise here and remember that's a contra account to the capital uh, account here for the ABC franchise so we would credit that here for the amortization expense for the year here of eleven thousand seven hundred and forty one dollars and then uh, the debit amount here would go to our fran franchise expense here on our income statement here for a debit amount here of eleven thousand seven hundred and forty one dollars so you can see uh, dealing with these franchises here in in this case we have an let's just go over it one more time here we had an interest expense only because we had to pay on this franchise we didn't pay for the entire cost up front so we had the payment here that we had to account for our interest expense here and then we also had the uh, franchise fee because there's usually a percentage of the revenue that goes to the franchise or that we we purchased the franchise but we still had to pay a certain percent of our revenue to the franchise or the holder of that franchise here so we would have had those two expenses here on our income state the interest expense here in this franchise fee and then you also have the capitalized amount here since we purchased this franchise here you have to determine what your capitalized amount is and then you have to amortize it over the useful life of that franchise all right so that just takes care of our, how we'd be dealing with a franchise or some type of licensing agreement here to uh, record it and all I'm doing is just recording the franchise itself here there would be other uh, recordings here to this franchise but we just want to look at how we amortize the cost here and how we deal uh, dealt with our essentially royalty payments here and then we had that a uh, payment here that we have on there's four payments that were due on that franchise to the franchisor each year